Yeah, we got pieces and parts. No, nope, we ain't got none of that. We've got spark plugs, miscellaneous fittings that I bought just because I wanted them. And we've got this stuff, best stuff known to man. Yeah, a little plug for, for solder seal gunk. Yeah, best stuff in the world. Part number for this is on here some damn where, right there. Can you read it? Probably not. Yep, right there. M506. If I ain't mistaken, O'Reilly's can get this crap. But the part number for it is M5-06. And it costs me a grand total of a buck 49. But it makes a gallon and a half. Hell a lot cheaper than windshield washer fluid. The only thing is this does not have the winter stuff in it. The winter stuff's like a buck ninety nine a bottle. They can get it too. It's um Instead of 506, it's 505, I think. Anyway, we got spark plugs. I'm going off memory here, my friends. Pretty sure that's the right spark plugs for, for what this motor is. We've got thinking valve cover gaskets. Oh yeah, got brand new rubber saddle valve cover gaskets. We've got what the heck should be the timing chain set diamond chain cover gasket set. Yeah. Long story, I don't know if I explained it, and I explained it to some of you in the comments, but the whole cover kit that I was actually going to get turned out to actually be damaged at Advance, so, and they didn't even actually have in stock the darn gasket, so I went down to O'Reilly and got it and told them about the whole situation, and they basically gave it to me, pretty much, just to make me happy. Anyway, there you go. That's about the only time and chain I think I would put in one. But anyway, this is, this right here is kind of funny. See, this box is funny, too. I do not want to drop this damn thing. I'm just going to pull it out of your piece of time. You see anything peculiar here? GM. It's a double roller. Yeah, GM used double rollers. That's a factory double roller that's in that motor right there. There's your bottom gear and your roller chain right there. That's going on there here in a few minutes. That may be the first thing I do, actually. I've already got it lined up, I do believe. I'm about to look at it and see, but but anyway. No, the first thing I'm going to do is tie that damn oil pump down. But anyway, let me get my ducks in a row, and I'll turn you back on for that. Okay, ducks are in a row. This right here, it may have to do with just me, but um, I'll show you in a minute. These torque to 65 foot-pounds, thereabouts, is pretty well right. So... We're going to set the wrench to 65 foot pounds, which right there, give or take a foot pounds, close enough. We're using a 5 8. Hope to God you can see me. I need to turn my screen. If I turn my darn screen around, you know, that's the point in having a nice camera. Use the 5 8 spark plug socket. The reason being is because it interferes with the darn pump. You can't use a just a 5 8 socket on a half inch drive, it just don't fit. But anyway, I've got me a socket, a little extension. And I set this thing to about, I actually set it to about 68, because I'll lose a little bit through that. And we're going to torque this, torque this poof onto down. And that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to do it. Because you know you got the top on the spark plug socket, so. We won't get any interference between the pump and the socket. That, that was my plan. We're going to torque this. And it's always best to take things in like three steps. Torque it a little bit. You're supposed to like torque it to like say, you know, it's been 65, torque it 20, 40, 65, whatever, something like that. But what we're doing is I torqued it to about 20 right there, maybe 30 summers. And I'm giving it a second. Now I'm going to torque it a little more. And we're going to give it a second. That's basically what you're doing. You're giving the metal time to adjust. And that and the bolts, the bolt and the threads were old. I done that when I actually put it on here, so we're good there. And I'm going to finish bringing it to torque. There we go. She's torqued. And that is an important torque setting on this engine due to the fact that GM never used a damn gasket on the oil pump. That's just metal to metal. Let me get the old one here. It's a very good machine surface, don't get me wrong, but it's it's stoned out, you know, but so's the block. But I found that to everybody I talked to, there's like, you know, you can get a dead soft gasket for it. Yeah, 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 you can do this, you can do that. But as long as it's put on, it's clean and it's torque to spec, to torque to spec, listen to me, torque to spec, don't worry about it, run it, so, okie dokie, she's on there, she's tightened up, she should be good, I'm hoping for, 
If she ain't, I'm blaming you all. It is YouTube video viewers' fault. Promises. And I'll come kick one of you in Zoss's ass. How's that? Well, anyway, anyway, my next step is I got to get this out. That should be a. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it's laying here somewhere. You can tell it's been a few months since I've worked on this. Remember, remember, my friends, this is an early, a late engine. Shit. I was afraid of that. I'm about to break it and then turn it back around. And we got it broke. But now I've got to turn it back because I had it set on TDC. Well, I'll get that done. It's just going to be a... I may have to get the impact out. That makes things easier sometimes. Now I'll show you changing this timing chain. Granted, it's the same as it would be if you was changing it in a car, except it's upside down. Okie doke. Well, anyway, there is... To anybody that knows Big Block Chevrolet, there is two ways to actually get to crank on what you want to call just on TDC. There's two ways of doing it. If you look down this crank center line, one way should become pretty blasted obvious. And mind you, this is just what it is. But anyway, that's one way. Another way is to actually, the correct way, which is why I'd say it, is you know, I've got the balancer just sitting there anyway. It lines up with zero, okay? Granted, it's still on my puller. It's slightly stuck. Anyway, this one's junk. I've got a new one. You just know that. The reason I even took the puller off of it. It about rolled off that tailgate. Wow. Well, anyway, you're also, your keyway lines up with zero, okay? Your dot, and in the case of these, they've got that little dot. But anyway, that's your, um, that's your lineup, so. And these bolts, if I forget to tell you, they're supposed to be torqued to 20 foot pounds. Well, am I gonna use a torque wrench? Highly doubtful. But anyway, we're gonna swap this out. I'll show you, I'll show you, I promise. I'll show you taking it off.